Hey, how's it going? Um, thought I'd do a bit of an update. Haven't gotten a whole lot done on the van uh, with Christmas and all. I've been trying to order some parts. Um, a little hard to get the parts, but uh, I'll show you what I got so far. I'm going to go with the uh, four shifter. I picked this up on Amazon. It was supposedly used, but it looks pretty well brand new. It was just over, well, just under 150 bucks. Uh, might work. Hopefully it'll work. Uh, it's for a three-speed. Um, a lot of people are saying it's not going to work on the two-speed power glide, but I think it might. I had the cable hooked up, and uh, I think it might work. I'm just going to have to. I have to order a longer cable. It came with a five-foot cable. I'm going to need a a ten or a twelve-foot. So that's what I picked up for the floor shifter. That away. And I also ordered. Some stuff from Rock Auto, my favorite place. So I'll just show you what I got here. So what I got here for the van is a transmission filter. I got um, four shocks, front and back. They're all Monroe shocks. Got two headlights. Figure what the heck, and these are uh, brighter ones. I'm gonna go over the prices of these things later. I got the two headlights. I got some uh, bushings for the sway bar thermostat. I got a thermostat gasket, and I got an exhaust gasket. That's for the van. And here I picked up front and back brake pads for my uh, Toyota RAV4 and I also picked up a CV shaft for my son's 2003 Mazda Protégé so I'm just going to go over the prices this uh, CV shaft here the cheapest I could get was 110 from the States, I got it. It's all in Canadian money. I got it for $45. As you can see, it says 100% uh, new. So, it's not rebuilt. The filter I didn't even price here. It was $4 from Rock Auto. Gaskets I didn't check. It was like a dollar from Rock Auto. Thermostat was $2.50. Uh, these um, bushings were... Uh, about three dollars, I think. Headlights, well, they were twelve bucks a piece. And the shocks I got were one was uh, twenty in the states, and they're thirty here. The other one was thirty in the states, and they're about fifty bucks here. And uh, what else? I got the brake pads for the Rav Four. In the states, they're about twenty-four dollars a set. Here they're at least fifty dollars a set. So this whole thing here came to about three hundred Canadian, shipped to my door with duty and taxes. So I'd say that's pretty good. On here, this here is a windshield washer pump repair kit. It was six dollars, and I don't even think you'd get it here. It's for the van, and I think it's going to be kind of interesting to try and rebuild this pump because it's it's really I think a unique pump at least it is uh, I've never seen one like it so hopefully we can do a video on that sometime when I get around to it so I just thought I'd show you what you got what I got here and uh, some of the price differences talk to you later okay hey, welcome back well I thought I'd show you what I'm trying to do with this shifter now remember that none of this is made for this vehicle it's all aftermarket stuff uh, you just can't order these parts and that's getting to be the big problem for me you know having to you just can't uh, go online and order the right parts you have to kind of make things work and everyone's told me or pretty much everyone I talked to or 
ask questions about saying the shifter's not going to work. It's a three-speed shifter with a two-speed power glide. But I don't see why it won't work. I'll just show you what I got here. So I got the uh, shifter under the van, and I got the cable hooked up to the original uh, linkage. So let's see how it works here. So that's right now in park, and the wheel transmission is locked in park. So now we're going to go to reverse. And the instructions say to check to make sure there's play here, I guess, so you know it's in gear. So let's play there. So that's reverse, neutral, let's play, drive, play, drive, and then first. And there's play. And that's it, that's as far as it goes. So we got first, first, drive, neutral, reverse, perk. I think it'll work. I don't know. I guess I won't know until I hook it all up and uh, try and drive it. So I thought I'd just give you a uh, Show you what I'm doing here, and uh, I don't know. Do you guys think it'll work? Let me know. Talk to you later. Okay, well, I thought I'd show you a couple other things I got done here. Um, I think I showed you this uh, pulley before. It was when it was running, it was wobbling. Took it off, it was cracked right where the fan had bolts onto it, so I had it fixed. And now it uh, seems to be running pretty straight, so I think I got that done. And then also, I got. Um, the ignition switch uh, repaired um, so we have a key now the only problem is to find some sort of bezel to uh, hold it in there permanently it's um you say these parts are not that easy to come by um, so it's maybe I'll have to take a ride out to the junkyard but it's hard to find vehicles in this age uh, with some parts left on them so uh, I'll talk to you later Okay, well, I'm going to give you another quick update. Um, if you remember or not, I was working on the leaf spring bushings. Um, it's been already like this for a couple of weeks. Just haven't gotten around to measuring them, you know, to try and uh, get something universal to make it work. So uh, I got to measure all the, uh, the diameters and, and widths and things like that. And uh, I got to get some some of these uh, link bushings too and in the back same problem you know you just can't order this stuff you, nothing vehicle specific you have to try and make something fit so it's getting to be a real pain talk to you later